Why aren't wild cats as big as bears? Bears and wild cats are among the most successful animals in the entire carnivora order, thanks to a combination of adaptability, intelligence, and amazing physical prowess. Both animal groups have honed their ability to survive over millions of years, but they have evolved in markedly different ways. One key difference between them is size, with the biggest bears being larger than the biggest cats. Today's video explores this issue, including the reasons and circumstances that have led to the physical dimensions of modern bears and cats. Let's get started. How big do cats get? Modern members of the cat family, scientifically known as Phyllidae, are very diverse in habitat, behavior, and of course, size. Over the 35 million years or so, different environmental factors have been instrumental in shaping the characteristics of modern-day cat species. Today, there are two extant subfamilies of Phyllidae. These are Felony and Pantherony. Felony, which is also called the small cat subfamily, is characterized by relatively small frames. Other defining characteristics of small cats are the ability to purr and the inability to roar. Notable species are lynxes, caracals, servals, and the domestic cat. Surprisingly, the largest member of Felony is the mountain lion aka puma, aka cougar. Despite their sheer size, mountain lions are technically in the small cat subfamily because they cannot roar. Males range between 110 to 176 pounds in weight and up to 8 feet long, including the tail. Females are smaller, ranging between 75 to 130 pounds in weight and up to 7 feet in length. The cheetah, which can grow to 140 pounds, has a shoulder height of 30 inches and a total body length of over 7 feet. It is also classified as felony because it purrs. The smallest species of felony, and the smallest of all wild cats, is the rusty spotted cat, a native of Asian forests. This tiny feline weighs between 2 to 3.5 pounds, with a maximum body length of 19 inches. The other felid family, Pantherony, is home to the true big cats. Apart from being larger and bulkier than their felony cousins, big cats possess structurally different hyoid bones in their necks. This tougher, cartilage-lined hyoid bone prevents purring, but allows pantherony species to produce roars. Notable pantherony species are lions, tigers, jaguars, and leopards. The biggest species in the subfamily is the Siberian tiger of Northeast Asia. This mighty tiger is an intelligent and ruthless apex predator that fears little besides humans. These majestic animals have been sport hunted for centuries, resulting in their current status as critically endangered. Siberian tigers have an average weight of 390 pounds, and captive tigers tend to grow bigger than their wild counterparts. Males are generally bigger, ranging between 390 to 675 pounds and exceeding 9 feet in length, including the tail. Females weigh between 220 and 370 pounds, with lengths of over 8 feet. Shoulder height ranges between 30 and 42 inches, with males on the higher end of the range. The largest documented Siberian tiger weighed about 660 pounds and was well over 11 feet long. There have been claims of wild tigers growing as large as 700, 800, and even 900 pounds, but these are not proven. However, evidence suggests that the largest Siberian tigers have died out because of trophy hunters. Lions are the second largest extent cat species. Males weigh as much as 500 pounds, but are usually around 440 pounds on average. Lengthwise, they range between 8.5 feet and just under 10 feet, including tails. Lionesses are significantly smaller with an average weight of 270 pounds and an average length of around 8 feet. Shoulder height for lions is between 3.5 and 4 feet. The smallest extent species of the Pantherony subfamily is the snow leopard, a high-flying mountain cat found in Asia. Male snow leopards can grow up to 5.2 feet in length while weighing between 100 to 165 pounds. Females typically max out at 90 pounds. Of course, the aforementioned species are cats that are still around today. However, fossil evidence suggests that the Earth was once home to much bigger and meaner kitties. One famous example is Smilodon, the saber-toothed cat. The Smilodon genus featured several fearsome species, but none more so than Smilodon populator, the extinct king of the South American wilds. 
paleontologists estimate this beast could have weighed as much as 1,100 pounds at full size, with average weight estimated at over 600 pounds. The American lion is another contender for the biggest cat ever title. Experts believe Panthera atrox could have weighed as much as 1,000 pounds, allowing it to tackle the behemoths of its time. How big do bears get? Bears, which hail from the Ursidae family, are comfortably the largest terrestrial members of the carnivora order based on average size. The biggest species are larger than lions and tigers, and there are no bear species even close to being as small as animals like the spotted cat. Today, there are eight species of bear distributed among the Americas and Eurasia. The American black bear is the most populous in terms of sheer numbers, with nearly a million individuals in the wild. However, the brown bear, which is found in North America, Europe, and Asia, is the most widespread. The other six species are highly endangered and are officially classified as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature (IUCN). As far as size, bears can be as small as 80 pounds (36 kilograms) or as large as 1,600 pounds. Like with most cats, bears have sexual dimorphism, with males being significantly larger than females. The sun bear of Southeast Asia is the smallest of the lot. This shy creature weighs between 75 and 176 pounds and has a body length range of 48 to 62 inches from nose to tail. On four legs, shoulder height is just under 2.5 feet. At the other end, we have the polar bear, which is also the largest land carnivore in the world. These ice giants, which primarily eat seals and walruses, are fierce and relentless predators. A polar bear is so strong it can haul a full-grown seal clean out of the water. Polar bears are about 7 to 8 and a half feet long and can be up to 5.5 feet at the shoulder. Males have an average weight of over 900 pounds but can grow to 1,600 pounds during bulking. Females can range between 400 to 700 pounds. The omnivorous brown bear has a significant size range depending on sex, environment, and time of the year. Overall, they range between 176 to 1,200 pounds in weight. Length also varies significantly, with a range of 3.5 feet to just under 10 feet from nose to tail. The largest brown bear, the Kodiak bear, has an average weight of 787 pounds. Females range between 500 and 700 pounds depending on bulking and are about 5 feet long. Males range between 1,000 and 1,500 pounds and they can be more than 7 feet long. Interestingly, the biggest Kodiak bear on record weighed more than a whopping 2,500 pounds. The biggest polar bear ever recorded weighed in at 2,210 pounds. These figures have sparked a debate about who should have the title of biggest bear. Some folks use the average weight metric, which favors the polar bear. Others use the biggest weight ever recorded, which favors the brown bear. However, the biggest bear ever is Arctotherium, the South American short-faced bear. Studies in Argentina estimate that the largest species, Arctotherium angustidens, had a hypothetical weight range of 900 to 2,600 pounds. Further studies indicate that the short-faced bear was omnivorous but favored meat. Unfortunately, this remarkable giant went extinct around 12,500 years ago. Why do bears grow bigger? It's unlikely that there is only one reason why bears are bigger than cats. However, the main reason may simply be natural selection in the face of certain environmental conditions. Almost all animals have evolved into sizes that allow them to have a calorie balance, if not a calorie surplus. This means the energy they get from food must be equal to or greater than the energy exerted carrying out activities like finding food. As pure carnivores, cats are generally at a disadvantage because prey is both hard to find and energy draining to catch. Cats that live in areas that are rich in prey like jungle-dwelling tigers and jaguars can afford their large builds because large prey animals are abundant. However, cats like the sand cat, which lives in the Sahara and Middle Eastern deserts, require small frames because food is so scarce. Bears benefit from their omnivorous and, in the case of the giant panda, herbivorous nature. Fruits, leaves, and grasses are more plentiful than meat, which means bears can spend a significantly larger portion of their lives eating. Meat is a welcome bonus, but it is not critical for bears. 
Also, as a general rule, herbivorous creatures get more energy per pound of food than carnivores, which promotes larger bodies. Eating vegetation is known as primary consumption, while eating meat is secondary consumption. For example, a lion will not get all the energy a zebra gets from eating grass because some of that energy is lost during the zebra's exertions. Another reason is related to metabolism. Bears can famously slow down their metabolisms to help them store fat for hibernation or enduring severely lean times. A polar bear will load up hundreds of extra pounds to help it survive the five to six month period where seals migrate south. Brown bears bulk up in preparation for hibernation. In contrast, cats have quicker metabolisms and generally do not load up fat like bears. A quick metabolism is essential to maintaining the muscle mass cats need for hunting. Another reason is concerned with how the animals are physically engineered. Bears possess wide frames, broad chests, and stout chests that facilitate the generation of brute strength. While cats also possess incredible pound-for-pound -pound power, they also rely on agility, speed, jumping, and reflexes more than bears. As such, they do not require as much bulk.